Yo, this is Sebastian Karestam, the one world to weight champion, and I represent Pancreas here. And martial arts has been a big impact on my, my life. It changed me and uh, made me into the man that I am today. Um, and it took me away from a lot of uh, bad paths that I had in my teenage years. So martial arts right now is like it's holding me together and it's everything for me. Without martial arts and even now without training, I don't know how I would cope with life. I feel like if I don't train for four or five days, I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't feel I don't feel good at all and I, I get depressed and so I'm not sure where I would be without martial arts but for sure it wouldn't be anything good. I think there was a few few times in my career when I when I thought I could really become something and one of them was pretty early. Uh, my first professional fight I, I knocked the guy out in, in like 10 seconds and I had this thought I was like it, it has to mean something like I can't have my debut by knocking someone out in 10 seconds and then go on a losing streak or something like I have this is it I'm gonna make something out of this so so that was a, a little bit of a confidence booster and and it it was in the back of my mind like this is a great start and and it's it's a start of something bigger i think omar was crucial for me to reach this level and for me to keep growing as a martial artist um, I came back to Sweden more like a Muay Thai fighter and, and that's about it. And I did have some MMA knowledge but it wasn't, I wasn't complete. So I lost a few fights, yes because the lack of understanding and Omar is like getting it all together and, and I, I wouldn't be here without him for sure. Winning the title and uh, being with my coach Omar and, and being able to to put the belt on his shoulder, it, it meant a lot because I know all the hard work he has done uh, throughout all these years that, that he, do, he doesn't get the credit for. I've been with him on and off now for 10 years. I see all the hard work he puts in so and in me and in the other guys in the gym so i'm just really appreciative and uh, it felt it felt good to to give him that i actually gave him my second belt when i defended uh, in um, in burma then i gave him my belt because they gave me another one so i gave him the belt as a gift and and, and that that meant a lot to me because whatever happens and for how long like he's always gonna have that at home and be like man he knows we we appreciate him so so it, it felt felt a lot it felt good Uh, it, it feels good to be back where I got the title. A lot of memories being back here, and just overall a good, good feeling. So it's positive. I would describe the feeling as controlled chaos behind the scenes before I 
uh, walk in. You're just trying to control that fire and make it into a laser and then as, soon, as closer and closer you get, the more of it just feels just feels right you feel at home but there's a lot of nerves but it's good nerves you should be a little bit nervous and on your toes and it's a nice feeling but it's behind it's it's not a nice feeling behind but as soon as you walk out and uh, it's time to perform then it's a nice feeling I would describe my fighting style as a pretty violent. I try to be very calculated and violent. Yeah, that's it. Mentally it's kinda like you get an opponent. It's easier to wake up 6, 7 in the morning. It's easier to do all the extra training. Like oh, I'm always training and I'm always doing this but when I get an opponent it's just easier to train. So so it feels ni nice, but I'm happy to have him as an opponent because I, I think he's going to come forward, he's going to throw a lot of shots and hopefully he's not going to try to wrestle too much. So I think this is a fight where my potential is really going to come out. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I believe, I believe he has good, good hands decent kicks and his wrestling is good I believe he mixes he mix it up well and has a lot of pressure he, he does everything pretty well so it's excited to be to be facing a high-level fighter but I'm just hoping his game plan is not boring so we can have a, a good uh, good show I need to be on the distance a little bit, picking my shots in and out, uh, and I need to slow down the pace and make him fight my fight. I also believe my kicking game is uh, a lot better. My boxing should be better. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think I can stop his takedown, and as long as I, I don't let him dictate the pace, and. Uh, and keep the center then then uh, I should be the one picking picking my shots and picking him apart I'm also kind of I can't let it go so I'm like thinking about this this guy for like three months every night it's it's a special special feeling you're just thinking about knocking out someone so it's, it's a special thing